wasn't going to record anything on me cleaning the carbs. Um, but when I opened them up, they all looked pretty nasty. Now, this is actually after one cleaning of my uh, trial solution. But this, and I don't know that you can see it, but you will see it later on in the video. This carb is still pretty nasty. But the rest of these have actually cleaned up quite nice. And I'm going to show you how I did this. My wife made a suggestion. Barkeeper's friend. Now, smooth top ovens, the glass top ovens, use that because it's safe on all the finishes. Barkeeper's friend cleans calcium, lime, any deposits like that out of just about anything. And it's done a pretty good job. So anyways, I'm going to show you how I clean these and what I did to uh, with the barkeeper's friend and to get us to this point and then we'll be back and we'll finish cleaning the rest of these carbs. That's what I'm getting ready to do now because that was just round one. Round two coming up. Okay, it's uh, about the fourth hour now of this, uh, of this project, carburetor soup. Um, this is once again uh, this is Barkeeper's Friend mixed. I have no idea what the solution is. Um, probably heavy. Uh, I keep stirring it up to make sure that it doesn't settle on the bottom. One of the carburetors. As, as you can see, it's it's got a lot of corrosion on it. So I'm going to do the best I can, see if I can't save this one. Uh, see if I can rinse it off a little bit better. Unfortunately, I'm not sure it's going to be, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell. We're going to see. See what we can do. You can see here, uh, this is one that's been through. This probably had about uh, four hours. You can see there's still a little bit of the corrosion left through here. I hope the camera picks it up. Um, it's going to be in through around here and obviously up around the screw. But everything seems to be, everything else seems to have cleaned up pretty nice. Um, you know, still a totally usable carb. This one, a little more corrosion in there. Still need to take care of that. Obviously there is pitting and stuff, but uh, the barkeeper's friend doesn't seem to be adding to that. But otherwise, cleaned up nice. But I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about as far as the gold on the spring. You can see now that's definitely taken on a much different hue than the original gold so as long as you're not worried about that which I'm not I'm gonna try and get this so you can see it there's still a little bit of the uh, white calcium deposit in that corner but that is pretty much where I'm talking about getting that cleaned out you can also see here on the screw right here there's also some calcium deposit there that I gotta get off but this whole area over here is now removed and yeah there's some pitting in it but it's not going to be anything drastic versus this one here where you can still see down in this valley here this carburetor soaked for about four hours and that's it and I haven't done anything since then. This carb soaked for the same four hours and I have gone in and cleaned this out and even gone as far as using some fine, uh, what is this? What is this? Uh, 2000. 2000 grit. Just getting in the nooks and the crannies there to kind of just clean it out a little bit. And I still have to do that to this one. Now these have been soaking for probably about six hours now. And then of course, got the float side, got the float covers, and all these. And this one, and then this one, which is 
by far the worst one yet. As you can see, it's just pretty ate up with corrosion. This is a bit of my assembly line process here. Come on now, where are you? There you go. So I'm soaking all the jets in a separate container here. And then I'm cleaning those up with the toothbrush. And then from there, they go into this to soak. And then from here, they go into this. until I'm ready to put it all back together. So the goal today was to see whether or not Barkeeper's Friend would work on cleaning carburetors and getting the calcium out of them. And I would say that it does actually. Uh, you need to let some of the stuff soak a little longer than, than you might think. But be aware the longer you let it soak the more the anodizing of the, uh, of the springs and everything goes away. So you, you lose some of the aesthetic qualities of the, as far as the carbs concerned. But everything else you can tell is really clean. Some of the stuff that's a little deeper, it doesn't get down in there as much as you might think. And I did have to use some of the 2000 grit sandpaper on. I'm still pleased with the way it came out. It got most of the stuff out. It loosened everything up and that's really what I was looking for. There's probably some better things on the market, but once again, this is a nice, clean, uh, non-toxic way to do this, which I'm kind of a fan of. So anyways, We'll get back to cleaning these next week, but for now, thanks for coming by, and uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, hit the like button below, uh, subscribe button over there, and that keeps you up to date on what we got going on. Other than that, the social media links are below, and make sure you check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and I will see you next week. Thank you very much.